think we'll be okay. Understand this. Yes, yes. This It'll be the same as it always is. This battleground is where we fight. Alright, so I'm going to split these guys into two groups. I'm going to place this one over here. You will sit in the middle. And you guys sit on this side behind them. You will sit over here, and the cavalry with the general will sit right in the middle. Now, what you gonna do? Germanic warriors, get over there. Okay, and you... You can sit right there on the riverbank. It looks like they're coming for this side. actually want you a little bit further back. There we go. And you can be on fire at will. Everybody else already is. Let's see what they do. I should have looked at their army actually, because I'm not sure if they have any slingers or anything like that. What are you? Island warriors. They represent the tribesmen living on the islands at the mouth of the Rhine, and they are savage and live off fish, and the eggs of sea fowl. Oh, cool. That's interesting. Very interesting. They've got some Germanic allies as well. A lot of cavalry. There's the general. Doesn't look like they have any slingers, so that's a plus. Let's speed it up, see where they go. And you guys I want back here. Please don't run into the river, thank you. The uh, the game has an unfortunate habit of deciding that when you just when you turn them around, you actually meant for them to run. Whoa, hello. You actually meant for them to run into uh, the river because that's totally what you'd order. All right, well, looks like they've given their all to that. So let's send these guys across here. If you really want to fight me right here, I will oblige you because it's a ford. You're not coming across and fighting well. I'm thinking maybe it would be a good idea to send the cavalry over this side. So I will do so. And hopefully... Because these guys are going to die fairly fast, I would imagine. Especially if the general dies up here. Which he might, because I'm not sure which unit he is. I can't see him anywhere. Alright, our legionaries are across. Perfect. Run like hell. Run like hell. And I will send the cavalry across. Go. Now hopefully they will continue that way instead of deciding to turn around and come across here, because that would be just stupid. Who is dead? Arganthonius of Emporii. Well, we just took your hometown away, so I'd be pretty depressed too and have a bit of a death wish, I suppose, maybe. All right, charge in there. They're damaging our legionary cohorts a little bit. I'm not sure I approve of this. I do not. Aha, there he is. I remember he had 17 men, so that would be him, I would imagine. Alright, go, 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 go. You can stop shooting. You need to run like hell. Yeah, they're doing... they're not doing half bad. But now they're trapped, so that's a thing. Now you are dead. Alright, I'm gonna slow it down, slow it down. I wanna see this. I wanna see this disaster unfold. Hello! Now where is the general? Oh, there he is, I think. That looks like him. Yes. 
great gods oh, be praised. You're dead. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. And now they waver. No? They're just shaking. Are they gonna fight to the death for this guy? That would be interesting. Alright, that's all their generals dead. Speed her up again. Because there's not really gonna be anything interesting from this, it's just gonna be murdering them. Which, while it is good, I will grant you, is not overly interesting. Sploosh. Yes. Victory! Clear victory! So we lost about 50 men. Not bad. How many did we get back? Oh, that's a lot of legionaries. The Aquila legionaries were hit a little bit harder, but that's okay. Yeah, most of it was from the legionaries. And we got most of them back, so that's, that's definitely a plus. I like it. I approve of these circumstances. Victory! And are they going to throw anything else at us? No. End of turn. Excellent. Let's quick save it, because I want to keep all of that, obviously. The Rites of Bacchus Band. I think this is actually a little bit early, because if I remember correctly, they were banned in the 180s BC, but I could be wrong. The Senate of Rome has decided that the drunken orgies of the Bacchanalia have finally gone too far. The depravity and lewdness have shocked the patricians into action. Performing the Rites of Bacchus from now on will result in exile and the loss of Roman citizenship. So, in history, the story goes that... Um, this guy told his girlfriend, who was a prostitute, that they couldn't have sex for a week. And she was all like, how come? And he's like, well, I just got admitted into the the, uh, the cult of Bacchus. And she says, oh, no, that's a terrible thing. That's bad. They're like, they're really bad people. And so um, this kid was the son of a senator or something like that. He was the son of somebody important. And um, so he went and told... His father, I think the story was, and then his father was like, what? What's going on? And so, um, the, one of the senators who was powerful in Rome called the boy and the, uh, the, the whore to him and asked if they told him true, and they, were, they said yes, yes, they did. And so, the rights of Bacchus were banned, and because of the depravity of them, the, well, as it says here, you would get exiled and you would lose your citizenship and they made the whore who was a freed slave into basically like an honorary citizen so they claimed they uh, they proclaimed that anyone who married her would not be tainted by her former freedman ranking but you know the just because they say it's going to be like that doesn't mean it will be. But I thought it was an interesting story. It's, you know, it's, it's those little flavors of history that are kind of cool. So what else has gone on apart from that? There was an agent in Thrace, but they escaped. There was an agent of the Egyptians. Hmm. How dare they? Those are our cities now. And we lost a spy in Petra to natural causes. And a diplomat in Moronia. I don't even know where Moronia is. Oh, it's up here. I must have just left in there for ages. Sure, that's great. Uh, Herennius Fabius Maximus is now a good commander. That's good. And you have got a surgeon. I approve of this. Oh yeah, funny. But despite the fact that, you know, the, the rights of Bacchus were banned, if you still have temples to Bacchus, you'll still get the priests. I think that's amusing. Okay, so that's really the only interesting thing in there, is that he could transfer... Actually, come up here. Give Augustus your surgeon, because you don't need him. And Augustus, go rejoin the army. And then give Drusus your surgeon. Perfect. We'll have a regular army medical corps in no time. And then you can go back over here. Sweetness. And that made everything better. Hooray. So we don't need to know about those messages. We already do. The most advanced faction is us. Roman greatness knows no boundaries. Our faction is the most advanced in the known world. Hooray. Construction of many things. Anything particular?
particularly interesting. No, just shrines and such. But those are kind of important. Empori is still a little bit miffed about the whole leaving so few people in here, but I think, if I remember correctly, these guys in Carthago Nova are almost done. No, they're not. I thought they were almost done with the whole building of, um, building of the auxilia so I could get some extra troops, but apparently not. You're all set. All you have to do is wait a turn before attacking. I don't know, I might send him into their territory this turn, just to see what's going on. And then I need all of you guys to go in here. 55% chance. 64. 71. I want, hopefully, to have one spy left over by the time we're done with all this. 97. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, actually, why am I bothering doing that? I can just recruit a spy. A herp a derp. Okay, get in there and make sure we can take the city next turn. There we go. Okay, so two units of tribesmen. Not a big deal. We can take them out fairly easily, I should think. I might send him into Spanish territory this turn depending on whether or not I can find anything that's more useful for our, uh, our winter campaign. I doubt I will, though. You go over there. See, if there was a port right here, I could make it there this turn, and then, likely, we could do the straight shot from here to Alexandria. But, unfortunately, because there is no port, we have to stop here instead. I guess I could dump the troops there and then move them next turn using this fleet. Actually, I will do that. Losing one navy? Not a big deal. Can you actually deploy them? Okay, good. <laughs> Whew, that would have been awkward if they couldn't quite make it. And then uh, just, just run that way. Yes, stay away from them. Now, what do we got here? Three units of pikemen. I think we could take them. Orders. Probably. Let's grab that. Hoplites are always welcome. You should be building something. Build me a... I don't know, I don't really need anything, do I? I suppose. Build me highways. Because, why not? You're already busy building a phase 3 auxilia. Build me... Really? Hmm. Can you actually get a citizenship? No. That would probably be why I didn't bother building this. I was wondering. Uh... Yes, master. You can't really help because you can't get back in Petra. But that's okay. Go to Bostra instead. Watch. See what's going on. Wait. And you go to Bostra as well. And you, I need to go this here way. Okay, good. Now we have an intelligence net that spans the entirety of this area. I approve. Now what have you got? Bolon, you are the army that I was looking at before going, ooh, uh. And I still look at it going, ooh, uh. Because I don't really want to face it. Sir! Now, I don't think if I attack him, I can actually get past the city. I think I have to take the city to get to him, which is unfortunate, because I really don't want the city, because that would take away the whole point of holding the bridge. Um, hmm. This guy's got some legionaries, and I do not approve of this. Can I see what your traits are? No, but you are very young, and yet a very good commander. I do not like this. Quick, see what's going on. He's a night fighter. Of course he is. Of course he is. How about you? You are not. Okay. Hmm. It may be possible, using our assassins, assassin ready. 
Actually, what are you doing? Aristocles, what are you doing? Oh, you are a clear and present danger. Murder him. Nice. Good job. I approve of this. Um, you can head this way and hopefully get your chops on a captain like this guy. Oh, wow. Wow, I didn't realize you were quite that terrible. <laughs> I thought there was actually somebody good hanging about with him, but evidently not. You need to die. Oh dear. That is unfortunate. How good are you? You're not that great. Give it a go. Damn. What about you? You're not that great either. But you have a 31% chance of killing him. Who shall die this day? Moving to position. 41% chance. Do I have any other assassins about? Not really. Alright, well, because you've got a slightly better chance, you get a shot. Ooh. And you're terrible anyway, so try. <laughs> Well, you didn't die, so that's a positive. That's a that's a thing. Now I did get another assassin here. You're not bad. Killer waiting for orders. Go get some practice. Good job. And you got a skilled courtesan. Assassin. I approve of this. And you are not so great, assassin but ready. hello. Death approaches. Get him. Nice. We do not approve of their assassinee shenanigans. They already killed one of our family members in this game, and I do not approve of this. Now, how good are you as a spy? You're not that great, but you will you will prove to be an intelligent net. Aha! I knew it! I knew it. You sneaky bastards are trying to be sneaky bastards. Try and get him. Curses. Can't do it, sir. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> that went slightly less well than I'd hoped. Now, can you grab me some more Cretan archers? Because I love those guys. They're so great. You can. Excellent. Alright. Um, hmm. I don't know if there's any rebel fleets over here. Actually, it shouldn't matter because next turn will be summer, so he should have enough movement to get here anyway. I, I believe I was going to use you to try and fight those damned rebels, but looking at you now, you don't really have that much of a chance against fleets like this. Which is unfortunate. Good god, they've all got like triple gold chevrons or triple silver. Fucking rebels! Okay. Well, seeing as those guys are coming, and I'm not sure if I can get my army from, uh, from... Where are they? From here to Alexandria in time, I am going to move him, uh, Nias the victor, that is, back from the border. He's going to sit over here-ish. Right here. Because that should put him within range to march to Alexandria if he needs to, and if it turns out that they turn around or don't uh, don't come towards me as much as I thought they would, he can turn around and go back towards Bostra. I think that's a good plan. I think we got it. We're good. Hello. Assassin. You. I forgot about you. Ah. I should have used you before. Now it's a bit late. Alright, I'll use you on this guy instead. Oh, he didn't get a rank up. That is disappointing. Very disappointing. Go away with all your assassination mission things. Okay. You need a temple. And you need temples too. You can't get a citizenship. I could have sworn that one of the cities in the Levant could get citizenship, but evidently not. Alright, we'll just build all of these temples and such, keep the people happy. They're fairly happy as is, but, you know, you don't lose anything. 
except money, by, uh, by building these things. Because if you don't build them, then you don't just lose money, you lose people. You lose cities, and then you have to take back the cities, and that gets all very tedious. Very tedious indeed. Alright, so you... You have a decent population growth, actually, so I'm just going to get you temples as well. And that puts us down to about 16k. Hello. Who are you? You are a guy who needs to be assassinated, I do believe. What's our chance on him? 33%, really. What about you? 68. How good are you? You're pretty good. Murder this some bitch. Damn. Yes. I need to know more about this man. He's a good commander. He's a night fighter. And he's in the pink. Hmm. Well, Sir. this could be problematic, man. It could. It could. You need to go sit in the city to make sure that they're all happy and such. Sir. And you. I don't know what I want to do with you yet. Do you really need infantry? Probably not. So, for now, you can sit in here. I'll send this unit up towards Drusus to reinforce him, because I'm kind of iffy on, uh, on these guys, because I'm thinking that if he gets attacked, he's and he might, I actually want to see what's over here more than anything else. Show me. Oh yeah. Yep. Philippos the Thinker is coming for him. He is, he is. The question is, will it be this turn or next? That is the question. And I think I'm going to take a quick break here. I am rather hungry and I've run out of coffee so I'm going to take a quick break and when we return we're going to see what Philippos does actually hang on what's going on here five turns until surrender okay five turns isn't too bad I thought it was a little bit longer but it's not five turns isn't that bad so we will just wait until Antioch surrenders but anyway next time with me Grey Hunter we'll see what these damn Seleucids decide to do because I don't know what they will they seem to be gearing up for an attack, which could be interesting. Not sure how that'll go. But anyway, next time, with me, Grey Hunter. Doodoo.